some things you didn't know about bees. Strong, close, and very, very clever, bees are essential insects for pollinating plants, making sweet honey, but also for much, much more. Come along and find out everything they hide. 1. They dance Bees have a mysterious and pretty unusual dance. Once they find food, they return to the hive and start dancing to communicate where the food is to their peers, which follow their movements as well. I'm sick of shaking my booty for these fat jerks! There are two kinds of dance, the round and the waggle. The first, moving in circles and alternating clockwise and counterclockwise, is done when the food is less than 109 yards from the hive. The second is used when the trip is longer than 109 yards and is performed by drawing an 8. This, along with their abdomen movements and quite complex calculations to determine the location of the flower relative to the sun in the hive, helps the bees know exactly where to find the sweet pollen and nectar to produce their food and sweet honey. Can you imagine explaining all that by dancing? Tricky, isn't it? 2. Not all of them are workers You probably think that almost all bees are hardworking females, but that's not the case. Even though most of them are female, there are drones that have this name for the buzzing sound they make. They aren't workers, so if there isn't much food left or the cold weather arrives, the workers kick out these lazy insects since the queen will only tolerate them for fertilization. Basically, the drone is a long, hairy, stingerless bee with big eyes that only lives for one to one and a half months like its thousands of sisters. The drone leads a life that consists of eating, drinking, and fertilizing the queen, although it has also been discovered that its function is to keep the hive warm. But despite this, it doesn't do much. What a life, right? 3. Nuptial Flights Since you know that there aren't many males flying around, let me tell you that there's an average of 400 to 500 drones on a hive which don't do any work. The queen of the hive comes across her potential suitors from time to time, though there's never action inside the hive but outside. The queen goes out and flights vertically while being chased by a swarm of drones from her and other hives. Many end up exhausted and give up. After this chase, the queen gets tired and is caught by the fittest drone. He then hugs her and they copulate in a spiral and upward dance. They fly so high that birds can't disturb them. The male dies in ecstasy and spirals down from above. The queen returns to the hive with part of the male, gets rid of what's useless, and lays eggs after a few days. All of this after this unusual mating ritual. 4. Queens are very promiscuous There's a common belief that the male of the species is the one that has to reproduce with many females to increase the chance of having offspring. It's also believed that the female is passive and monogamous, but that's not true. The queen bee is the queen of sex. When young, the queen flies to mate with several drones, which die after releasing their seed. The queen stores the sperm and uses it throughout her life. In hives with more promiscuous queens, worker bees have shown to build better and higher quality combs. The promiscuity of these queens help their children to resist diseases and improve genetic diversity. The queen breaks paradigms and boy, is she amazing! 5. They're important so you can eat what you like the most I don't exactly mean honey, although it is sweet and delicious. I mean that most of the food crops across the world depend on pollinators, and bees are the queens of this symbiotic, life-giving art. When bees pollinate, not only do they contribute to the safety of crops, whether it's fruits, vegetables, or any plant food you can imagine, but they also help conserve biodiversity. Those fruits that you want to eat so badly in one way or another depend on these insects, and you bet these bees know what they're doing. At least a third of everything you put into your mouth depends on pollination, and these little bees pollinate over 170,000 different plant species. Not bad for such a small insect, beloved but also hated. 6. Queens are created by workers Queens aren't eternal, and that includes many current monarchs. That's why there should always be heirs, which is a duty that bees perfectly fulfill. The mourning for the death of an old queen is so short that one or many new queens can be born in no time. Immediately, the workers choose larvae under three days old, which are raised in a special and large royal cell and fed only with royal jelly. Bees make honey and jelly? Huh. This protein-rich jelly is the staple food of all bees for a few days. However, the queen will only eat royal jelly her entire life. 
If multiple queens are born, only one can reign the hive, so a big slaughter will take place until the alpha queen survives to rule for many years. Long live the queen! 7. The Perfection of Their Honeycomb Their honeycombs are one of nature's most perfect and intricate creations. It's built out of wax cells that share common walls made by bees to house their larvae, honey, and pollen inside the hive. The workers produce the raw material with some special wax glands that make this unique wax. Throughout history, scientists struggled to understand why bees used hexagons to build their honeycombs. However, it was known that there's no better shape than a hexagon to make the most of the space with minimum material. Why? Well, Professor Thomas C. Hales mathematically proved this in 1999 and called it the honeycomb conjecture. I won't talk about that since I don't understand it myself, but what I can tell you is thanks to its hexagonal cells, bees have a light and sturdy honeycomb with very little wax to store that sweet honey. A marvel of nature! 8. How they stay in control Having a whole hive at your feet is not an easy job, but the queen bee knows exactly what to do. Not even Cinderella's stepmother is as controlling as this western honeybee. The pheromones of this matriarchal queen control her daughter's brain activity, but why? Isn't everyone supposed to be minions of the queen? Well, it looks like nature is ready to suppress possible rebels and prevent its majesty from dying or losing her power. The workers are under a state of highly induced positivity caused by a chemical pheromone, which blocks dopamine to always see the queen as a pleasant company. Considering that the queen is a full-time mom, <laughs> it isn't convenient that her hard-working daughters do rebel. However, the effect this same pheromone has on the queen herself remains a mystery. Several scientific studies are looking for the answer, so let's wait patiently. Bonus: World Bee Day Every May 20th, a pretty unique day is celebrated. It's the World Bee Day. So you can celebrate with some honey on that date. The United Nations designated this day since it coincides with the birthday of Anton Jansha, a pioneer of beekeeping in Slovenia. This beekeeper praised how hardworking bees are and how little supervision they need. It's worth saying that he is absolutely right. So celebrate with the bees and take care of them. 9. Very Particular Eyes Bees have many eyes, and these are two types, compound and simple. The compounds are two and are on both sides of the head, just like the ones you and I have, but divided into more hexagonal shapes called amatidia. The simple eyes, or ocelli, are in a triangle on top of their head, which helps them when they're in the honeycomb in the dark and also to see their sisters with infrared vision. On the other hand, their compound eyes have excellent sight as they have ultraviolet vision and can spot more flowers with nectar than anyone, which is why they're perfect for the job. Workers have 6,300 amatidia for recollection and work. Queens only have about 4,290 for flying just once, while drones have 13,090 for their search of queens to copulate. Nature has its reasons, and they're more complicated than bees thought. And now comes something you think you know for a fact, but are you sure you know? Or do you need some extra information? There it goes. 10. How many bees does it take to make that delicious honey? To produce just 2.2 pounds of tasty honey, the bee must visit 4.5 million flowers and travel a distance of 112,000 miles. That would be like going around the world up to four times. But considering that a worker bee only lives about 30 days or so, I don't think she could make 2.2 pounds by herself. On average, a western honeybee visits around 7,000 flowers a day, so now, can you calculate how many times it would have to go out to reach the goal? They work a lot, don't they? The answer to the question is relative, but if you're good at math, you'll surely find the answer easily with the info I've given you. If you want help, let me tell you that for 2.2 pounds of honey, it takes 2,540 bees flying for 96 miles to get the nectar of 3,900 flowers. Wow, I got tired. This information surprised you, right? Because I was. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to get more amazing content about insects, animals, and much more. If you want a little more nature, watch these videos. They're awesome.